Segway learning curve and I'm pretty much impressed. I might get one. Welcome back. I'm Mauro. We are actually here to test the real-time object tracking from the new Sony 6400. And if you didn't know, this new feature is only available on the Sony A6400 and on the A9 with the 5.0 firmware update. Sadly, my Sony a7 III will not get this feature updated on some future firmware updates. It's because of the older processor and here is a new one. Well, never mind. My great Callaghan friend Matteo helped me out with this test. I was actually trying to not break a leg. Let's go first to the in-menu settings and how to turn on the real-time object tracking on the Sony a6400. Enter the menu system on the movie mode, we are making films here. Under the 9x9 section, select the function of touch operation and select touch tracking. On the FN fast selector, you should always select autofocus continuous. In the focus area, I like to use the expand flexible spot. On the metering mode, select multi. The tracking feature will not work on 120 frames per second. You have to stitch to 24 or 25, 30 or 60 frames per second. For the test, we were using the Samyang 35mm f1.4 and the Zeiss 55 that is actually filming right now on my Sony a7 III, but we were using it on the Sony a6400. And I'm not planning to get any APS-C crop version of the Sony lineup lens. I will actually use only full frame lenses on the Sony 6400. Now we are ready to touch the screen and select the object of tracking. The Zeiss 55 worked excellent and touch tracking feature works perfect. It was all the time nailing the focus and focusing on selected person, even when I was entering and exiting the frame really fast. Don't mind my first tries on the Segway, I will master it for sure.
Samyang not being a native Sony lens worked ok with some focus and some lost of the track subject. Well, I'm really impressed, I might use this feature a lot in my future work. I'm for sure planning the Sony a7 III versus the Sony a6400 video. I'm just trying to get a lot more footage with the 6400 and make a relevant comparison. What do you think guys, is it a perfect Bcam? Well, comment section down below. And we are going straight to your previous comments. We have common men's movies. You sound like Piper Blush from YouTube, but yeah, nice filmmaking content. Oh man, you are at least the 20th that says that. Well, there you have it. We have Jan, you should make a real action movie. Well, if I ever make a real action movie, you will all guys have a private screening of that. We have Thomas Rogero. Mauro, I don't know if you're Italian, but I love your accent. Just sub. Grazie. You are the next Peter McKinnon. Well, this video should resemble the Peter McKinnon 2 minute Tuesday. That's a uh, Two minute Friday for me. We have PD. What's the best gimbal for you, Mauro? Well, it's still the Weeby Lab. And I'm actually getting today the Feiyotech AK4000, so yeah, I will be putting a test and maybe a side by side comparison with all my gimbals. Stay tuned. And we are going to my comment question What do you think, guys? Should I perform as an actor? Mateo says, definitely. Then we have Ramon. Yes, as long as you never make that face from the thumbbell again. I will make that face on every next thumbbell posted on my YouTube. Then we have Rome Limousine. You were a born actor, but you didn't know. Well, you will pick me up when I'm in Rome with... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you will be picking me up when I am grown with a big limousine. Instagram feature May. Check out her work. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video. And see you on my next one.